Hey guys, this is a walk around of a 2010 Toyota Crown 3.5 litre V6 hybrid. Um, sorry for the background noise, the reason being because it's quite, well it is raining relatively hard today and it may pick up again so I do apologise. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Towards the front you've got some really nice by Z on headlights as you can see. It's a bit hard to see but you've got a sort of blue sort of chrome on the inside of the headlight. It's quite a nice detail. Might tilt up so you might be able to have a better look. Kind of aqua slash blue, like a blue chrome. Quite a nice detail. So, Toyota Crown, so it has its own sort of badging instead of the Toyota symbol. So, obviously, a picture of a crown. And the blue is supposed to indicate that it is a hybrid model. Got fog lights. Suzuka isn't registered, obviously. There's no fuel consumption sticker. That's because only in Australia we have the fuel consumption stickers. So I'll leave those details in the description below. So the tires on this model is, um, it's just been fitted with these sort of aftermarket tires. So I don't actually know this brand, but it's called Z-Tex tires. Um, and they are, appears to be about 18 inch. And I'm not too sure where they're made in, but I believe it would be... It says made in China. But yeah. Obviously you can fit a good set of tyres on this car as well. Got some nice chrome as well. You can see here. You also got the crown logo embossed there too. Did mention it was a hybrid model. Again, you can sort of see the chrome strips. The key fob, 22 model, so nothing particularly fancy. But you can see, here's your key. So I'm just go again, the chrome, I mean the chrome logo, lock, unlock, and boots. One cool feature I did notice in the crown is it's got soft closing doors, something you see in high-end cars. Let's do that again, the camera just blurred out. So when you put there, it'll nicely do that. And it also does it for the rear passengers too. So this. Oh, so, oh, oh, it actually does work. So if it's like even completely not closed, a bit more than that. Give it a second. I'll do that again, I think I'm gonna do it like there. There you go. So pretty cool stuff, so don't close the door properly, always make sure it's closed. Again, the crown logo here. Kind of like a nice jewel sort of effect. Typical Japanese um, tradition, you can only tint the rear windows, but not the front. So I've got this pretty dark tint. Show you the rear of the crown. Got pretty large tail lights down there, you can see. Very large. Did mention hybrid model. Same system as all. Toyota's hybrid synergy drive. Rear backup camera. Sorry, I slipped on it. There you go. So a pretty wide opening. Got the warning triangle. So obviously you got pretty hard in case. I believe that's because of the battery. I don't think the seats do fold down. And you've got a cover there, your toolkits, and all your information. And you do have a tie there, but I don't know if it's a full size or a space saver. You can lift up to see. <coughs> to see from here. Got some hooks here too. You can see. 
One, two, three, four. Has a typical Japanese import smell. Kind of reminds me when I would go to the hotels in Ginza. Kind of has that same sort of smell. So I think the car has locked itself. So if I think put your hands here, it unlocks. So you don't have to actually do anything, which is actually pretty cool. So here's the interior of the 2010 Crown. It's a DVD there because um, one of the gents is actually showing me that I can play DVDs. Crown logo here. Sorry, I got a bit of a runny nose. Just move this aside for a moment. I don't know if you noticed that when I opened the door, there was actually a little cool movie that popped up. Let's see. Very, very cool. It's a shame they don't sell these in Australia. Well, here's the interior of the Toyota Crown. So the front obviously is quite plain because it's a full. Oh, button. It's a full. Um, LCD display cluster. So, if I click the power button here, the. Oh. Pretty cool stuff. So, I'll just press it again, and you'll see a little movie popped up. There you go. Put my hand there just to get rid of it. So, you've got a full LCD display cluster. Left is your rev counter, and the right is ETC your rev counter. So it's an SD card to operate the navigation system. So when you turn it off, the seat, I mean the steering wheel raises, and it does that because it's trying to um, create more access for you as a passenger. So here's your steering wheel. So I'll put my hand over to prevent the glare, because the color changes. Oh, nice black stitching here. So you want to take my hand off, you can kind of see how it comes all washed out. Put your control through your radio. That feels very nice. Hand through telephone. Display. Voice command. Quick control to, to the right. Got your wipe controls to the left. And your headlight indicator controls to the right. Feel very solid. Got a soft touch dash. Bit of leather here. Let's see. If I press this button here, you've got inside it's all carpeted, but in, over here it's all plastic. Your glove box. Very nice. The controls here, all these buttons which are all in Japanese, which I cannot read. Your nav system. So I'll just show your your climb control. So I'm gonna turn on the temperature. Ah, oh, your fan speeds is. Let's turn on. How do you adjust your fan speeds? Well, I'm not too sure how to do that. So there, I think there is a button somewhere. Yeah, I think it's on this auto. You can. Uh, oh, okay. So it's a full. So it comes up on the screen. So if you want to change everything, it looks like you can do it all here. So it's full touchscreen looks like it appears to be. And you um you can do it through the touchscreen. And the screen's actually quite responsive. Different zones. And then you got a couple of shortcut keys here. And the buttons feel pretty um well made. Um then it hasn't been too for Australia, so Another thing I noticed is when you press this here, you'll notice that you've got a DVD TV apparently, and you can see through your stations. It's got Dolby Digital DTS surround sound. Wow, so you can actually um play movies and stuff like that. 
that fan sound is, I think it's believe is the um the um cooling seats. That's probably what that sound was. Let's turn this off. And you got a little movie that plays there. So got two cup holders. Same sort of pattern as you can see here and on partly over there. Gearbox. You can just drive on economy mode, different driving modes, just EV if you like, without using the engine. Leather seats. I mean, sorry, the leather armrest. If I press the side here, you've got nice, nicely padded. You've got two power outlets and a USB and aux port here. All very nice. I love the felt touch here, very nice. It tells you all your power information as well, how much they use. You've got perforated seats, which is also very nice. Let's see, very nice, good ball string. This car's done about 90,000 kilometers, but it looks like it hasn't been driven in at all. It looks like a new car. You can move the seat forward and back as well, I noticed. So it's good for rear passengers. Very nice leather. Some sort of DVD. Um, you do have some door cards here, which don't really hold too much. I mean, you can hold um, like a bottle, but it doesn't really fit my bottle because of the weird shape of it all. But it's pretty useful. Got some vanity mirrors here. Got a sunglass holder. You can see here. Got some illumination. Oh. Okay, sunroof. Again. So you can actually open and close. ETC card is Also, the door cards are all perforated too. You can see. Same sort of treatment as well. Memory seats. You can fold the mirrors. Now, people don't actually know this. So in Japan, this is actually the card if you're going on the... Um, I think it's when you're going on the freeway. Like in Australia, we've got the e-tag. So that card goes in there and that's where you're... You tax a little card, you go down and you can go on the freeway and that charges your toll. So that's what that is, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that's for your seats, bolstering, and yeah, so cool stuff. Couldn't show you much of the UI because it's all in Japanese, so yeah, not very useful. <laughs> Getting soft touch materials here as well. So here's the rear seats, very nice, there was actually a bag there so I pretty much just removed it. It's um, really luxurious in here actually, very nice, very well, really well built. This bag there. So here's the rear seats of the crown, got some pockets here, another pocket here, you got some handles here, not like you'll really use it, got really good headroom. Um, you got these nifty like dome lights. Um, really dark here because of the tint, which is actually pretty cool. And you've got these um, sure shade, which is great to block out like you know, glare and things like that. But I don't think you would need it because the tint's pretty dark. The carpet's really gorgeous. You can see here, you've got rear vents here. Pull this down. You've got all your controls. Um, oh well, is it shade electric? I didn't, I thought this was manual. Didn't know that, okay. So I think the shades are, oh, it's for the rear one. So the rear one's electric. So I believe if you turn it on, you press this button and this will electronically raise or lower the shade, which 
I'm not going to do that in a moment. So, um, all these buns here are for the seat to be stationed, the seat to move. Oh, so you can actually push this forward if you like. That's near. Oh, that's cool. So you can s even tilt the seat forward and back. Very, very thoughtful. Pull this up, you've got a, another power outlet here. You've got some more felted carpet here. I don't think these seats do fold down, unfortunately. Then that's probably because the, um, again, because of the, um, battery, I believe. Again, same treatment as the front, you've got this really nice perforated leather. So it's all beige here, you can see. A lot of room here, like a lot of room. You do have a large transmission tunnel, but I'll forgive that because you got enormous amount of space to keep your legs in. It's funny because this feels like the size of a Camry, but it feels like maybe like the size of a 7 Series, so I find that a bit interesting. Now I'll show you the dashboard from the rear seats. So the range, I think the gentleman said he drove this to the Ocean Road, um, to the Great Ocean Road, he got about 700 k's as a hybrid. It's about, I think, 63 litre. Fuel tank 67, not too sure. So, not too bad. And hybrid, so yeah. This model is probably the last one where it came with a V6 and it dropped it down from a 3.5 to a 2.5 litre engine. Got an ashtray. People with smoke, not very common as in Australia, but in Japan, big smoking culture there. Storage here, all oh, very nice. For a better look at the interior, As you can see the perforation, very nice. Pretty good visibility, like there's no real blind spots, also. I mean, maybe a little bit there, but um, yeah, very nice. Also, I noticed it also lights up, so it's crown, which is actually a pretty cool detail. I'll just quickly show you the engine, because I think that's something that everyone really loves to see. So, a 3.5 litre V6, as I mentioned. Oop. Bit of a problem. If I can actually get the handle, which I cannot seem to find. There you go. So it's brings us nothing much to see here because it's all plastic covers. So I think a total output about 220 kilowatts. I think the motor itself is 147. So yeah, so quite a lot of power. Um, yeah, hybrid power obviously. So it's all covers. So there's really nothing really much to see here, but motor for electric engine here yeah crown symbol synergy drive hybrid this car's going for twenty five thousand dollars so hasn't been registered there yeah so nothing really too much to see here but um yeah Well, that's my little walk around of the 2010 Toyota Crown. This car is for sale at Jace Auto. It's a bit hard to see this one. I guess so. Jace, Jace Auto Import. So I'll leave the details in the descri description below in case you're interested in purchasing this vehicle. I'm sorry for the mistakes here in the video. And um, yeah, it's a bit hard obviously with the weather and all. And yeah, but um, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.